my name's John Hiller. I played professional baseball with the Detroit Tigers for 13 years at the major league level. Well, here's the new Tiger pitcher in the eighth inning, the left-hander, John Hiller. He struck it. Mr. Hiller has such a fantastic story. Um, you know, his background as a professional athlete, and then during the interview, and I'm obtaining his, his history, he tells me that when he was 26 years old, he had two massive heart attacks. But in addition to the heart attacks, he had also developed very, very severe peripheral arterial disease. Now, he went back to pitching after having those heart attacks and the surgery because the peripheral arterial disease hadn't manifested yet. And, and that's the thing with PAD, is that the initial insult, let's say it's you develop diabetes or you become a smoker or you have uncontrolled hypertension, you don't have the symptoms of the disease immediately, like John had with his heart attack. It takes years for those symptoms to evolve. And slowly over time, they did evolve. As a pitching coach, I was still thinking, I knew I couldn't pitch anymore, but I wanted to be part of the boys still. I wasn't that old, so I would go out each day and uh, tell them they had to run two miles or they had to do the wind sprints. In 1988, as I was coaching, my calf just bound up and I couldn't even move. I didn't pay attention for a while. I guess typical man just uh, ignored it, but it happened again and then happened again and uh, ended up going to a vascular surgeon. They did an angiogram, uh, came back to me and said, you've got a severe blockage. I see also you're starting to get an ulcer on your right foot and uh, I recommend amputation. And it got more severe as I would walk. And if I walked 50 yards, my foot would cramp up and I'd have to stop walking. Then I noticed that my whole leg would cramp up just on a little incline. So I got to a point where I didn't really think there was anything that could happen that could help my leg. So I just sort of ignored it. And over the years, he had been to see different providers and he was really just terrified that any type of intervention would make things worse. He's a very active guy. Uh, obviously, he was a professional athlete. He still participates in sports. He golfs a lot. Um, and his ability to participate in his normal activities was becoming very, very limited. All of a sudden, we're out in Arizona, and uh, I met a family doctor here. I was going to get cortisone shots in my shoulder. And I talked about my leg, and he said, have you ever heard of modern vascular? And I said, no, I was just so afraid of anybody touching my leg. He was to the point where he wanted to get treatment, but still just so afraid that something could go wrong. And I came in, I, they did the ultrasound and recommendations, and my wife was here, and I said, I, I'm just so nervous about anybody touching my legs. So uh, I said, can I talk to the doctor? And Dr. Brandon came in, he explained the procedure. He guaranteed that I wasn't gonna lose my leg because of what he did, and I still wasn't convinced. And when I was able to tell him with, from the bottom of my heart, look him in the eyes and say, John, I am fully confident that I can treat you safely and effectively without placing you at risk. You could see a weight lift off his shoulders. He took a deep breath, and I don't wanna say he got tears in his eyes, but sort of looked that way to me. He finally felt like, all right, I got a solution that's not gonna place me at risk. I called a few days later, I said, can I talk to the doctor one more time? And I came in and uh, he was very congenial. He sat down with me, he sat right on the floor, just like he was a buddy, you know, and uh, he explained again what he was gonna do, how good he was at it, how great modern vascular was, and my wife sitting there and she's nudging me, she says, John, do it, John, do it. And I says, okay, let's do it. We had planned out his procedure very carefully. I knew that I needed to use a device that ensured his safety because I had promised him that I had full confidence I could treat him safely and effectively. And really, the, when it comes to removing plaque, which in his case, we really needed to do, just um, ballooning and opening up that artery for John was not gonna work because of the nature of his plaque. Very, very thick, totally occlusive. 
we need to go in there and actually remove the plaque. But the only device that allows us to remove plaque and know what we're removing in real time is the Avenger device because of the imaging that we have. Uh, it allows us to actually see in real time what we're gonna be cutting out. Uh, and it's the only device that does that. So we selected Avenger uh, to remove the, the large chunks of plaque that were in his femoral artery of the thigh and then in the, in the most proximal tibial arteries as well. You know, the fact that they've got that camera going down in there and they can see the blockage and uh, they can go down and remove that blockage and remove the plaque and bring it out and either do an angioplasty or a stent um, is remarkable and, uh, and it's worked. After that, the cramping is gone from my right leg and I called in and I said, Doctor, can I go golfing on Saturday? He said, I don't see any reason why not. So uh, I think sometimes I, might, I don't want to tear up, but they've been so wonderful to me here and they've given me uh, encouragement that uh, I'm 76, going on almost 77, and uh, I look forward to another good 10 years, 15 years of uh, being on the golf course and being with my wife. To hear him say, you know, that he's out golfing again and that he had the best round of the summer two weeks after we had completed his left leg revascularization. It may not sound like much, right? Um, it's not like uh, we went out and, and saved an orphan family or something like that. But John Hiller is a great guy, a great patient, an active life who was steadily ticking downhill, who was afraid that he was gonna lose his leg and who had already abandoned the, the thing in life that gave him the most joy, which was his golf game. I want people to know that there's help out there. Um, don't sit back and say, I've got this and uh, my activity days are over. What I was most, most gratified by was that I was able to treat him safely and effectively, and I was able to overcome his very worst fear, which was, I could get worse. I guess I owe a lot of my life to him now that uh, I can carry on and uh, enjoy my life with my wife and my grandkids and, uh, and, uh, and my friends doing what I love to do is golf. And uh, just uh, God bless this man.